hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the 50 kg flower part is suspended from wires a b and b c which have a diameters of 1.5 mm and 2 mm respectively if the wires have a normal failure stress of 350 megapascal determine the factor of safety of each wire so now we know that the factor of safety is equal to the failure stress divided by the allowable stress. So we are given the failure stress, right? If the, fail, if the wires have a normal failure stress, so this is the failure stress for both the wires. So we want to find the factor of safety. So for both the wires, for each wire, we have to find the allowable stress. And we know that the and the normal allowable stress for both the wires will be equal to the force on each wire divided by the corresponding area. So we can say that the allowable stress for wire AB will be equal to the force on wire AB divided by the area of wire AB. And similarly, the allowable normal stress for wire BC will be equal to FBC divided by area of BC. So we are given the dia of each wire, we can find the areas of both the wires. So we have to find the forces on both the wires. So for that, we have to cut these wires and then we have to consider this joint B as a, 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 at equilibrium, right? So we can say that the force on BC or we can say that the force of BC will be acting in this direction. If we cut this wire, then this BC wire is in tension. So we will have FBC in this direction. We will have FAB like this. And the weight of the part is going to act vertically downward. This will be the force FBC. This will be FAB. And the weight is going to act vertically downward. Now, since this point B is in equilibrium and then the resultant is equal to zero, and if the resultant is equal to zero, then these three forces must make a closed triangle by head to tail rule. So we can say that this um, FBC plus this weight and plus this FAB, they must make a closed triangle by head to tail rule. So if we join all these three forces by head to tail rule, they must make a closed triangle because the point B is in equilibrium and the resultant is equal to zero. So we can say that this is FBC, this is FBC, this is the weight and this is FAB. Now we know that uh, if, if I draw a horizontal line here, if this angle is 45, then this is 45 as well. And similarly, if this angle is 30, then this is 30 as well. So we can say that this angle is 45 and this angle is 30. So we can say that this angle is 45 and this angle is 30. And similarly, we can say that if, if this angle is 45, then this angle is 45, this is 90 then this angle is 45 as well. So we can say this angle is 45. And similarly, if this angle is 30, this is 30, this is 90, then this angle is 60. So we can say that this angle is 60. And 45 plus 30 is, 45 plus 30 is 75. So we can say that this angle is 75. This is 75. Now, applying the science law, we can find FAB and FBC. We know the weight. The weight is 50 kg, so 50 times 9.81 Newton. So, if I apply the science law, we can say that FAB divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So, the opposite angle to FAB is 45 degrees. This is the opposite angle. So, FAB divided by sine of 45 is equal to the weight divided by the sine of the opposite angle to the weight, which is 75 degrees, so sine of 75 degrees. So this will give us FAB 
So we can say that FAB is 50 into 9.81 divided by sine of 75 and multiplying both sides of the equation with sine of 45. So we can say sine of 45. So FAB is equal to 359.07 Newton. Similarly, we can say that um, FBC divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So the opposite angle to FBC is this 60 degrees. So sine of 60 is equal to again the weight divided by sine of 75. So FBC is equal to so again that same fraction multiplied by sine of 60. This gives me FBC equals to 439.77 Newton. Now using these two equations we can find the allowable stress. So we can say that the allowable stress for AB is equal to FAB which is 359.07 and the dia of wire AB is so wires AB and BC which has a diameter of 1.5 mm so the dia of AB is a 1.5 mm so we can say 1.5 divided by 1000 is 0 0.0015 meters so we can say that the dia will be uh, the area will be pi divided by 4 d square so 1.5 divided by 1000 is 0 0.015 0 0.0015 sorry 0. Point square so we can say that the allowable stress will be 359.07 divided by pi divided by 4 into 0 0.0015 square so this gives me um, 203.19 megapascal. If you guys can see in the calculator, if we shift the decimal place toward uh, six digits towards the left, then we are left with 203.19. So 203.19 megapascal. Similarly, the allowable stress for wire BC will be equal to FBC which is 439.77 divided by the area which is pi divided by 4 and the dia of wire BC is 2 mm so 2 divided by 1000 so 2 divided by 1000 is 0 0.002 so 0 0.002 square so we can say that 439.77 divided by pi divided by 4 into square. So this gives me, again if we shift the decimal place, 6 digits toward the left. So we are left with 139.98 megapascal. Now we want to find the factor of safety for both the wires so we can say that the factor of safety for AB is equal to the failure stress. So the failure stress is uh, common for both the wires right which is 350 megapascal. So we can say the failure stress for AB is 350. So 350 megapascal divided by the allowable stress of AB. So the allowable stress of AB is 203.19. So divided by 203.19 megapascal. Remember that the units of both the failure stress and the allowable stress must be the same because this is the unit less quantity. So the units must cancel out. So we can say that 350 divided by 203.19. So 1.72. So the factor of safety for wire AB is 1.72 and similarly the factor of safety for wire BC will be equal to the failure stress which is 350 megapascal divided by the allowable stress for BC which is 139.98.
So we can say 350 divided by 139.98, which gives us 2.5. So we can say 2.50. So this is the factor of safety for wire AB, 1.72, and this is the factor of safety for wire BC, which is 2.50. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.